Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Cahi. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Indiana University School of Medicine and the Richard L. Radebush VA Medical Center in Indianapolis, Indiana. I was asked by the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to present the highlights of a study which will be published in the July 2009 issue of the journal entitled Effect of Screening Colonoscopy on Colorectal Cancer Incidence and Mortality. Colorectal cancer is a major medical and public health challenge. With nearly 150,000 new cases and 50,000 deaths in 2008, it is the third most common and second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. A significant proportion of colorectal cancer cases and deaths can be prevented through screening. Since 2001, colonoscopy has been an accepted modality for screening in average risk individuals. Several factors have contributed to this trend, foremost of which is that colonoscopy has high sensitivity for detecting cancer and precancerous adenomatous polyps and allows complete examination of the colon and rectum and removal of polyps at the time of detection. Recent data have shown a decline in colorectal cancer incidence in the United States and the emergence of colonoscopy as a primary screening modality is associated temporarily with detection of earlier stage disease. Despite these observations and the increased use of colonoscopy for screening, there are surprisingly few data that quantify the impact of colonoscopy on colorectal cancer incidence and mortality and average risk populations. The National Polyp Study did report a 76 to 90% reduction in colorectal cancer incidence in patients with adenomas who underwent clearing colonoscopy and a substantial reduction in mortality after long-term follow-up. However, other adenoma cohort studies, including dietary prevention and chemoprevention trials, have shown lower levels of protection after colonoscopy and polypectomy. The applicability of these mixed findings to the general population is problematic because the individuals enrolled in these studies had adenomas and underwent polypectomy and may constitute a subgroup at higher risk for developing colorectal cancer than patients without colon neoplasms. Conversely, a recent Canadian claims-based study found that the risk of developing colon cancer was 60% to 70% of the risk in the general population after a negative colonoscopy, which was defined as colonoscopy without biopsy or polypectomy, and this remained decreased for more than 10 years after the procedure. However, these findings may not apply to patients who have adenomatous polyps and require polypectomy and subsequent surveillance. In daily clinical practice, Average risk patients who undergo screening colonoscopy are a heterogeneous group. Most have no colon neoplasms, a smaller proportion has adenomas and requires subsequent surveillance after polypectomy, and the minority has colorectal cancer. We report the long-term follow-up of a cohort of such patients after screening colonoscopy. Nearly two decades ago, one of the authors, Dr. Douglas Rex, performed one of the earliest studies of screening colonoscopy in selected average risk persons. This report describes the long-term impact of such screening on the incidence and mortality of colorectal cancer. The original cohort of patients was enrolled in the study conducted between 1989 and 1993. Follow-up information was obtained by several methods. All subjects were contacted by telephone or interviewed personally at the time of clinic or colonoscopy follow-up evaluation at Indiana University. Other subjects underwent follow-up evaluation at other institutions. They also were contacted by telephone and permission was obtained to contact their medical providers and to receive copies of follow-up procedures, including pathology results. In instances in which a subject had died, permission was obtained from the next of kin and the cause of death was determined by contacting their primary healthcare providers and reviewing death certificates when possible. We compared the observed incidence and mortality rates of colorectal cancer in our study group with the rates expected based on the Surveillance Epidemiology and End Results Program, SEER, which monitors the incidence of colorectal cancer and mortality rate from this malignancy in several registries in the United States. The comparison was done by calculating a standardized incidence ratio of the number of observed cancer cases compared with the number of expected cases based on SEER. A standardized mortality ratio was calculated similarly. Of the original 733 patients, follow-up information could be obtained in 715 patients. The mean age was 61 years, 59% of the patients were male, and 95% were Caucasian. A total of 190 patients had at least one adenoma at baseline. Of these 190 patients, 20% had three or more adenomas, 12% had an adenoma one centimeter or larger, 
13% had an adenoma with villous histology, and 1% had an adenoma with high-grade dysplasia. Five cancers were diagnosed at the index colonoscopy. Seven incident cancers were discovered after a median of eight years, range three to 16 years, and 10,492 person years of follow-up. For the observed 12 total cases of colorectal cancer, the expected number of cases based on SEER was 23. The incidence rate was 1.14 cases per 1,000 person years, and the corresponding standardized incidence ratio was 0.52 consistent with a relative risk reduction of colorectal cancer incidence of 48%. When the first two years of follow-up were excluded, there were seven incident cases of cancer, over 9,075 person years of follow-up. The expected number of cases based on SEER was 21. The incidence rate was 0.77 cases per 1,000 person years, and the corresponding standardized incidence ratio was 0.33 which was equivalent to a relative risk reduction in colorectal cancer incidence of 67%. During the study follow-up period, three patients died from colorectal cancer. The expected number of deaths based on SEER was nine, yielding a mortality rate of 0.29 per 1,000 person years. The standardized mortality ratio was 0.35, consistent with a relative reduction in colorectal cancer death risk of 65%. This long-term follow-up study shows that in an average risk general population undergoing screening colonoscopy, the risk of developing colorectal cancer is reduced by 48% to 67%, and the risk of death from colorectal cancer is reduced by 65% compared with the reference population. These findings add to the growing body of literature supporting the effectiveness of colonoscopy as a primary tool for colorectal cancer screening and show that the benefit extends for up to 18 years after screening has occurred.